Well, let's discuss this further now. And joining us live in studio is Jantin Jacobi. She's the country coordinator for UNAIDS in Kenya. Uh, thank you for joining us on the program. Now, UNAIDS has announced that the goal to have uh, at least 15 million people on HIV treatment by 2015 has been met nine months ahead of schedule. Uh, it seems overall pretty positive. What can you tell us about this report? Indeed, we are extremely pleased and happy with the achievements of 15 million people on treatment prior to its uh, deadline by the end of 2015. This is an unprecedented success and it not only means that these 15 million people uh, stay on treatment are alive, but it means also that we have seen less new infections and less untimely death. And more importantly, this has, has meant that these people who are on treatment are able to have productive lives and to live the life of anyone else. Well, the report, though, does paint an overall positive picture, but there are still some countries like Uganda, for instance, which have suffered some uh, setback. How does UNAIDS, though, view such scenarios? Well, it demonstrates that we need to really monitor what is going on. It is a, a progress that can easily be um, lost if we don't keep an eye on what the epidemic is doing. So we are extremely pleased with the success, but at the same time, we know that the AIDS epidemic is not over and that much more needs to happen to make sure that all that at least 90% of the people who know their, uh, who are living with HIV know the status. 90% are on treatment and 90% uh, have viral suppression to extend their lives. And this is currently not the case. So the experience shows that um, we need to bring all efforts together to accelerate our efforts to make sure that those people who are not yet benefiting from uh, access to treatment can equally do so for the right to health for all of them. Well, the pandemic is far from over, as you mentioned there, but the report also says that the world um, is on course to eradicating the HIV pandemic by 2030. In practical terms, though, what does this mean? Is it realistic? It's absolutely realistic. You know, at uh, the 15 million by 2015, people told us it's not possible. It's impossible. It's, you will never achieve it. And yet we are here before the, the end of the date. So we believe, based on the science that is available, based on the commitment that is available, based on the funding that is available, based on the community action that is available, that we will be able to achieve uh, the ending of AIDS by 2030 as part of the Sustainable Development Goals. Well, for African countries, though, there are those uh, that are doing rather well on that front, but there are some that have suffered setbacks, though, like Uganda we mentioned earlier. What do African countries, though, need to do to make the eradication of the pandemic a reality by that target date? Well, overall, there are three broad actions in Africa, like elsewhere in the world. They need to bring down the new infections. So that means a combination of all the possible prevention interventions to bring down the new infections. The second point is to make sure that as many people as possible uh, access treatment. I mentioned already the 1990-90 targets, and so what we envisage is that 90% of those living with HIV know the status. It's the right to know the status. 90% of those access treatment, the right to access treatment to have a healthy life. And then the most important innovation is that 90% have viral suppression. In earlier days, we were saying it's good enough to be in treatment. Now we know better. We know that we are able to suppress the virus so that people extend their life. And then the last and most uh, important element is eliminating of stigma discrimination. And this is an issue that we see all around the world that still, despite the many years of the epidemic, we see stigma and discrimination hindering people, serving as a deadly barrier to access to treatment. And if I see figures where people, uh, where, where coverage is low, where uh, people die of AIDS-related causes while the treatment is on the shelves, I think it's such a pity, such a shame that we're not able to reach those that are living with HIV, that we're not, as communities, serving to care for those living with HIV to make sure that they can access uh, the treatment and live like anyone else. All right, uh, Dr. Jansin uh, Jacobi, she's the country coordinator for UNAIDS in Kenya with us here in studio.